it's officially happening. We're getting tuned on E85. I already paid Saul. I'm coming from my GoPro um, flip. I'm just driving around my car because um, I need to waste gas. As you can see, I'm like a quarter tank full. So, yeah, I'm gonna need to waste gas. I'm just driving around my neighborhood. And I have till Saturday. Right now, it's currently Thursday. So I'm not really tripping and right now my gas is wasting pretty good. I mean pretty fast because um, I have headers. I still haven't got tuned on my headers yet. So my car is bugging out because of that. Just came to my boy Jesus' house because I gave him this whole mine ended up breaking. So I gave him the one. I gave him one and then this one. He hasn't breaking it, so I just came to pick it up real quick. All right, now we're gonna go pump E in the tank, find a good uh, E85 station. So uh, let's go do that. All right, guys. So I'm currently over here at the gas station, testing the E85. It's right on. It's a little over 85 percent. It's like in the middle of 85 and 90. Big freaking gallon I have right here five gallon fucking jug right here i'm about to pump some in here and take it home and then sure enough when we switch the injectors out and the car dies we'll put some in so i'll see you guys right now filling up with 85 i'm so excited finally going on e five gallons of ethanol right here boys all right, time to get out of here and go home or drive around and waste some gas. And just like that, we made it home. Got the jug check and the injectors, which are in my car, will be getting installed Sunday. Yep, well, the car's GTR injectors are in. As you can see, these are the stocks. Big shout out to my boy. I'm gonna leave his Instagram right here. Big shout out to him. Thank you if you're watching this video. It means a lot, bro. Yo, let's get this big boy over here. All right, well, looks like I have another problem. My fuel rail's leaking. Here's a clip of it doing that now. Bro, it's leaking the fuel. What do you think it is? What? But, yeah, we disassembled the fuel rail. It was leaking from right here, as you see in the video. We disassembled it, found the O-ring is wrong, so we're gonna go get some O-rings. Also stripped the bolts, thinking it wasn't tight enough. So we're gonna get more bolts as well. See you guys over there. All right, so we went to Harbor Freight, got some O-rings, and I can't really tell what kind of size bolt it is or pattern. So we got a bunch of them as well. And then to take those bolts out, we got some fucking, what are these called again? Reverse threaded. Yeah, reverse threaded uh, drill bits. So, yeah, we'll see you guys at home. So guys, I got the O-ring, put it in. All I gotta do is find the bolts to put on there and we should be Gucci and Ray's getting his laptop so we can put the first file in. All right guys, so whenever you get tuned by Saul, you're gonna use the UpRev software. So basically I'm gonna connect this part to the OBD2 and then I'm gonna connect the rest to the computer. And from there, we'll see the rest. After you connect the wire to the OBD2 and the computer, it should be searching for ECU. What Saul said to do is keep the car in the on position, have the AC off, radio off, any other accessories off headlights off all that stuff and then it should be ready so flash tune file 
and then from here we're gonna go to downloads and right here is the E85 one so we'll click on that one it's gonna say do you want to reflash the ECU yes and then from there it's gonna do it all it's erasing the first one you can see you can hear my fans turn on as well when this is happening fans turn on that's how you know it's working and then it's gonna tell you to turn off the vehicle so that's what we're gonna do now now we wait and then it's saying do not start engine and we're gonna turn it back on from there go back up here reflash complete and then it should back, it should go back to searching for the ECU. And now um, we're gonna turn on the car and record some data logs for him, send them to him. And then from there, we wait for the next one. And then, yeah. So we'll go through the process of that too as well right now. All right guys, so now we're gonna turn on the car, let it idle for a minute 30. That's what he asked for. And then after that, we're gonna go on a drive. So it's not even turning on. Now that the battery is plugged in again, we turn the fucking car on. second gear pulls from 2500 rpms all the way to 4000 uh, for our data log as well he said on the same file will be fine so that's what we're gonna do after this then we're gonna send them back to him like always and wait till he sends me the next one until eventually he'll say it's the okay and you're done with the tune and then we're gonna go to Mexico obviously I already got some races lined up. So I'll see you guys then. First time actually putting 85 from here. I'm so hyped, lit as fuck. I think that was Jesus. Hey Siri. Call Jesus. I was gonna call him. Uh, for a little bit. So let me give you guys a little sorry. 